and welcome along and welcome back to This Is Island. Uh, today we are heading back to the farm uh, because last time we cut a load of grass for hay and as you can see uh, beside us here to the right in field 23 uh, you can see that the edges are drying out nicely but the middle of the field isn't uh, or hasn't yet. It has, uh, it has been drying out a bit since uh, I went to get this. This of course is a class liner. It is a uh, uh, it is a wind rower, which we're going to be using. Uh, so while field 23 isn't ready uh, to be rowed up and bailed yet, our other two fields are. So that would be a field 31 and 32. Uh, both of those are ready to be rowed up and bailed up. So that is going to be our first job for today, is to get these two rowed up. Now hopefully by that point field, uh, the, our final field, uh, I think it was field 29, wasn't it? No, 23, sorry. Uh, that should be ready for us to row up as well. In which case, we'll send our little 6810 here round on course play while we get these two fields bailed. We can turn that a bit tight. Let's straighten things up a bit and get in. There we go. So, as I said, yeah, we're going to row this up. Let's unfold this. Uh, and you can see here the texture of hay in seasons. So while the initial dry cut, uh, that is, oops, that is uh, sort of the old hay color. The, the actual hay color, the actual color of hay is a lot lighter and a lot more yellow when it comes to seasons. So that's how you tell when this is ready. Uh, and we're just going to sort of go around here, get this rowed up. Uh, and then get our baler. We are still, we do still seem to have a bit of a class theme with our uh, with our hay making stuff and our grass uh, working stuff. Uh, this, of course, uh, is uh, is a mod. Uh, it is at the moment, as all class things are available only on PC. But uh, yeah, I quite like this uh, this little wind row. I have used it before, uh, and it works quite well. But yeah, this is a class liner, a twenty seven hundred. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's got a nice, uh, nice width. It works well with this little Ford. Uh, it's got an 80 horsepower requirement, uh, whereas our Ford puts out 90 horsepower. So that's all good. Uh, and we're going to do a couple of headlands with this, uh, just so that we can get things, uh, get, give ourselves enough space to turn around. And it should lift up enough for us to uh, to not catch these headland rows. Uh, when we come to that. So we'll give that a test. So lift it up here, come across, and yeah, we're doing okay. Good. Right, so line this up here. Like so, down we go. And away we go again. So as I said, we're going to get two headlands done, uh, and then we're going to follow how we've cut the field, uh, which is uh, this direction here. And, uh, and yeah, that should then get the job done. What we're going to have to do, though, at the end of the row here, we've left it a little bit awkward. So lift it up. Turn it and, uh, and reverse into this. Uh, so this, hopefully, will be quite a quick job to get this done. Uh, it's, uh, it normally is. And yeah, there we go. Uh, the tractor moves quite fast. Ah, oh, that is a pulling gear. Let's get a good line on this. There we go. And down. That's much better. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're going to get these headlands done. It uh, seems to be a pretty good amount of hay we're going to get off this field. This field, of course, is our one that hadn't previously been cut. And so as a result, had more grass on it and uh, had grown up higher. But having said that, uh, our other two fields seem to have produced a nice amount of grass as well. So it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I'm going to get the rest of this field rowed up. And, uh, and then we'll head over and get field 31 done. Coming to the end of our first field of rowing now. And we got some nice solid rows across the field. Really, really loving how this works and how this is done. And I've just realized something over the last few days, actually. There was a series that I started on one of Lancey Boy's maps in FS17 with Seasons, which 
is very, very similar to how I, uh, I now play uh, with Seasons in FS19. It's, uh, it, was, it was 15 times each uh, video represented a single day. And, uh, and yeah, it is now the standard way I play. And, uh, and yeah, it's quite refreshing. It's quite a nice way to play this game, actually. Uh, this, if, especially if you've got a limited amount of time, I highly recommend sort of playing with. Uh, it sort of gives you a, an hour chunk to do a day in seasons. You can get quite a bit done in that time. So uh, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty cool. I'm very much enjoying it playing this way. I'm intrigued if you guys are enjoying uh, seeing sort of progress made like this, with sort of a. a at a little bit of an accelerated rate in game. Right, so let's start this up, drop it down, and away we go. We'll get this field done as well. Uh, and then I think we're going to get the bailer out because uh, I doubt our other field will quite be ready yet. Headlands are done, and we're moving on to the main part of this field now and something I've noticed doing these headlands we, we don't actually have that big a drop in the amount of hay that seems to be in these piles these actually seem to be pretty good piles um, and I'm wondering if that's got something to do with uh, maybe how much this field is fertilized or or something like that but certainly I wouldn't have expected to be getting quite as much hay off this as we are which is good news, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, it does seem to be a larger quantity than I'd originally expected. Uh, which, yeah, I'm really quite happy about. Oh, that didn't go down. There we go. And so, yeah, I'm really, I'm really quite happy about how much we're getting off here. This bodes well. Uh, I think we're going to have a really, really good uh, set of bales off these three fields. Uh, and and that's brilliant. I mean, this is this hay is uh, the feed for our sheep to get them through the winter uh, to make sure that, that when they are producing their wool uh, come the new year, uh, we are going to be able to raise uh, or get as much money off them as possible. Even if the price of wool, as we discovered previously on this map, is not great. Uh, we had uh, we had an awful lot of wool that we sold, and then many pointed people and many people pointed out um, the what we got was actually the price that was listed. Uh, it really was, but it was uh, it was a lot lower than I had initially expected. So uh, all we can do is hope that uh, when the time comes, the uh, the sheep produce a lot more wool. Uh, it's it's slightly concerning. Uh, animals in seasons are always a difficult thing. Uh, you can own a whole ton of animals and it end up being being not a lot of money. Uh, the big one in 17 was pigs. Pigs were very, very hard to make money off in 17. And I'm wondering if the same here is, is true with sheep. Uh, because a lot of those pallets we had, those were pre-season. Uh, on this map. Uh, I don't know how many they're going to generate. I think they only produce wool in the spring uh, as well now, sheep and seasons. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a while to, uh, until we see any wool from the sheep uh, and hopefully we will get a lot of wool from the sheep but we will see how we go. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting seeing how this all develops I think. Last couple of little spots now. Let's get them done. Lift that up, please. Yeah, we're going to take those rows. And then we've got a little bit down the bottom end of the field here to row. I'm impressed by this. It does lift up uh, the uh, combs high enough that you don't actually catch any other uh, rows, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm very, very pleased with that. There we go. So fold that up. And we will head back out of the field. I think what we might do at the end of the season is uh, is plough up the edges of the field. See if we can get this little bit of extra grass uh, from around it. Because at the moment, I'm, I'm still not sure. 
Because it's not failed crop. Yeah, it just says fallow. And I don't know why it hasn't drilled it. So we're going to have to have a play around with that. Uh, so we're going to take this up to field uh, 23 now. See if that is ready to be rowed as well. And if it is, as I said, we'll put this on course play and get that rowing up there. While we return down here and get these fields bailed. So looking at it as expected, field 29 has dried, which is brilliant. And this is this, I love this about seasons. I love that having to wait for grass to dry is, is absolutely a thing in seasons. That is, is so brilliant. Uh, so we're going to get this to row up field 29 now. So we'll bring up the course play. Uh, it will be field work it has to do bring it into the field right and we're at our starting point here field 23 uh, around two headlands current vehicle position starting direction automatic uh, bypass islands, yeah. We want to go uh, clockwise around the field. Uh, we want headland passes first. Okay, generate me a course. There we go. Absolutely perfect. That should work really, really well. We will send it off this way. And hopefully there won't be many little bits to clean up. Uh, first waypoint. Drive course, please. And, uh, and with that off and working, we're going to jump over here to, I think we're going to, because we used the class last time, I think we're going to go and use our Massey this time. Should be able to handle our baler. So out of here. This is our S series. I saw one of these S series actually near me in real life recently. Uh, which is quite cool. We've got our class part there because it's uh, doing... Uh, we need to get that washed. Now, we do have a baler, I think. Yeah, yeah, we do. Oh, actually, we have uh, we have a Massey baler. So, Massey baler for the Massey tractor. Uh, for some reason, I thought I'd got the class baler on here, but it, I have not. It is a Massey, uh, Massey baler with the Massey tractor. Connect that up, connect that up. Have we got any hoses? No, we don't. We got a whole load of great demands coming in at the moment as well. I've noticed. Uh, let's turn off that because we're not going to need lines. Uh, yeah, uh, we currently have a tiny bit of straw in here, but I think that will probably. Well, I don't know if that will change to uh, to hay when we do this. We'll find out in a moment. Uh, but this shouldn't take us too long with this massive baler. Uh, it should just get round. Uh, and I, I had toyed, as I was saying previously, I had toyed with the idea of uh, of switching to a round bale around here. But to be honest, square bales for our hay is actually more useful to us. Especially where we're going to be storing them. So, let's turn, uh, let's unfold our baler. Turn it on. So, and away we go. Let's get this all bailed up. As suspected, the first bale coming out of here, despite the fact that we are mostly uh, mostly hay and it has come out as a straw bale. That's unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, it means the next straw bale that we put out, that will probably come out as hay because we'll probably be left with a little bit of hay in here. But, yeah, we've got a random straw bale out of this. Uh, which is going to drop rather nicely. Yeah, there we go. And then out comes our hay bale. Uh, which is not that different in colour. So this is the first hay bales we've created on this map. And they are definitely... Oh, oh that we've created that are... Um, the seasons. And they're definitely so much lighter than the standard hay bales you get in game. And uh, you can see that we've got a stack of the standard ones in the distance. And they really, really are so much lighter. It's unbelievable. 
Headland's out of the way, and I'm now using the alternate uh, row method to uh, to bail these up. It's easier to make the turns, and uh, and you uh, and, and sort of makes for a much smoother way of doing it. I actually missed off the first row here, so I'm heading back and getting that. As I said, uh, we, we've got a really decent number of bales off here. This is uh, this has been impressive so far. Uh, just the headlands. They are, it is a field that is producing rather nicely, which I like a lot. Uh, we have missed a little bit of hay. Uh, one of the things I do like about seasons, really like about seasons, is if there are any little bits of hay or anything that we miss, uh, they do just rot down and disappear, uh, which is nice. Unlike the base game, of course, where you just end up with bits of hay or bits of straw or bits sort of there until you either plow them in or in, in the case of, uh, of the grass stuff, it's just always there. Uh, you know, harvest after harvest. So, uh, yeah, quite nice uh, to have that functionality. Should anything uh, little get missed that then isn't worth picking up, uh, you end up very easily... Well, not having to worry about it, actually, is the thing. Uh, so I'm interested to see how many bales we've got once we've done this field. So we'll have a look at the bale counter quickly after this. Can we get round this bale? And yes, we can. There we go. And I am trying to sort of pick up little bits as I'm going round as well. Just trying to make this as clear as possible. About half our rows left. Like so. very happy with this this is going to keep our sheep going for a long while final row on this field a uh, couple more bales to drop oh we missed a big chunk at the beginning of that I'm gonna go, go back around and grab that the, the way we came out in at it it sort of just didn't quite work there we go and round and in. There we are. And how close are we? Well, actually, we're going to have about half a bale over at the end of this, maybe. Just get these little bits up here. Nope, uh, about a third of a bale. So that's all fine and dandy. Uh, let's turn off and unload the extra bales. There we go. So how many bales have we created today? How many do we have off this field? Uh, so uh, created today, we got 14 bales off this field. That is fantastic news. Very, very happy with that. So uh, we're going to see now, now that we've got 14 bales, we're going to get this field baled up as well. And we will see exactly uh, how different this field is uh, it is about one and a half times the size of the last field we've done. Uh, so that is going to be our benchmark of 14 bales on the previous one. Let's see how many we can get off of this one. Headland's done and a decent number of bales. Quite happy with that. I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight bales so far uh that's pretty good that's actually really pretty good uh so uh yeah we will see exactly what this ends up with uh but yeah we could double the number of bales that we've got so far which would be really good news uh i would be happy if we got 28 bales off these two fields uh as i said it's this field is ever so slightly larger so it'd be good if it equaled the same number of bales considering that we hadn't let it fully regrow uh, before we went and did this, before we went and bailed this. Just three rows left. It's, it's quarter to seven in game now. Uh, I don't know how our other tractor is getting along. It seems to be doing all right, so uh, we'll go and check on that in a moment. Uh, but certainly this field is almost done. Uh, and we do actually it is dry enough for us to not worry about having to get all of this stuff bailed today. But what we might do, uh, I think, is uh, is set this going on the other field 
and uh, and getting the whole thing bailed up and uh, next time uh, and then what we can do uh, this time is set ourselves so that uh, set ourselves up for that and then we can just go and collect up our bales uh, on day five of summer and uh, and get them all stored away so it's sort of three days of haymaking which is uh, kind of what i expected uh, and uh, pretty good and and pretty happy with how it's gone too uh, because it has gone really really well uh, it's, it's been picked at the right time and we've not had to tether it either we've not had to do that extra stage uh, which would have just sort of slowed things down a bit again and we could have done this with follow me we could have just had a follow me going behind uh, but uh, i don't think it was necessary it has all worked out for the best Yeah, so there we go. Finishing this off. 10 past 7 at night in game. Let's have a look at exactly how many bales we have got. So let's unload that. Like so. And we'll just pull that forward and fold this up pick our header up as well so let's see how many bales have we made today we have made oh wow so we've made four more bales than i was targeting so we're up to 32 bales that's absolutely brilliant um that is where i'm gonna end it here for this video though all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.